Hi, I'm Janet and this is Lifestyle by Janet. Today I have a DIY for you guys, a very simple one and not time consuming. I'm going to be showing you how to downsize the waist of your jeans. So just reduce the waist of the jeans if ever that part fits perfectly. <music> I'll try to be copying this denim. I, this is um, denim and co jeans. I got a while back. Yes, and it actually came this way. It came pretty customized. So this is the front. Okay, and then inside there are these elastic bands. So the band runs all through the waist of the denim. It's sewn at the middle at the back, but it runs all through. So if I pull, if I pull this out. It makes the waist tighter and then same from this end so it's not just um, plain elastic the elastic band is customized so there are holes running all through like tiny holes for button so when you pull it out when you put the elastic out you just fasten it to the button there okay yeah so that's one end and for the other end yeah so this is it so you fasten the button you fasten the elastic to the buttons and it just stays in place and the waist automatically becomes smaller so i'm going to try and recreate this on two pairs of denim i recently got the whole thing fits perfectly aside from the waist which is big for me okay I'm going to try on the denims and then show you guys how big the waist is. So I'll show you the before and then the after. But before I do that, I'll show you some materials I got. I went to the market yesterday. <laughs> I went to the market yesterday and I got a couple of items. Everything here costs everything here costs I think 200 naira. Yeah, everything here costs 200 naira. So it's very cheap. You don't have to spend a ton of money to get it done. So this is the first thing I got. It's the elastic band. So I'm going to have to customize this and put holes in it. Um, this is two yards. A yard is 50 naira. So this is two yards. So this is 100 naira. Then I got the buttons I'm going to use to clip on the. So I got four buttons. Two for each. Two for each pair of jeans. This is what it looks like. So two for each pair of jeans. And then I got some safety pins. I think I'll show you guys how I'm going to use this in the video. So the safety pins, these are four safety pins. The safety pins and the four buttons, 100 naira, and then the band, 100 naira. So this is 200 naira. Very, very cheap. Okay. So let me try on the jeans so you see what it looks like before I start working on the waist. The first step is to get the length of elastic we would use for this DIY. I got an estimate by measuring the entire waistline of the jeans with the elastic band and I cut that length as what I'm going to work with. Remember that the elastic is meant to run all through the waist of the jeans so you can give a little room for extra elastic when you're measuring. Then I brought back the pair of jeans I was trying to copy. I wanted to get an estimate of where to put the slit in the waistline. 
I ended up using a measuring tape. <laughs> Hashtag science student. The measurement was about six inches, so you can use that when doing yours. The third step is to put the slit in the waistline, but remember to separate the two layers of jeans so you don't cut through the entire jeans. I don't know what I was thinking trying to use the scissors to make this slit. I ended up using a blade which got the job done perfectly. The next step is where majority of the work comes in. Passing the elastic band through the slit down the entire waist of these jeans. I used a safety pin to secure one end of the elastic band so I can have something to hold on to while passing the band. I just kept pushing the pin through. Midway through this, to be honest, my fingers became a bit tired but I had to see this through to the end. And you have to be careful so that the safety pin does not unclasp during the process. Mine did but I was able to secure it back in place. Maybe next time I try doing this, I won't use the regular safety pin. I'll try it and get those ones for baby nappies. They are so tamper proof. When the elastic band got close to the other end of the jeans, I made a slit similar to the first one to pull the elastic band through. So at this point, there are two options of finishing this DIY. The first is to use the buttons to secure the elastic. As I showed you earlier, this method will require sewing. But if you have no interest in sewing, then the second method is for you. Use the safety pins to secure the elastic band in place and you're good to go. So I'm done and it's looking good already. Let me try it on for you to see. Perfect. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, like this video, and then subscribe to my channel. Bye.